You're gonna wanna go up as high as you can and then as wide as you can. So the speed that I'm doing it at is the speed I want you to do. So you put your hands behind your head, then I'm gonna open my elbows up as, uh, as wide as I can. Now I'm lifting up from my mid back just a little bit. And now I'm bending my head backwards. So you're doing three things at once. Hi, uh, Dr. Michael Pasternak here, Winchester Spine and Injury Apple Wellness Center. Uh, so today this video is gonna be about my top three exercises that I would give to a patient to do at home in conjunction with the care that I'm doing here in the office. Uh, notice that's an important point that, um, well one, that we incorporate exercises as part of my care plans because that's a critical component, but it's a component, it's not the whole thing. So with these exercises, I want you to keep a phrase in mind that timing is critical. Think of like a comedian, right? If they're telling a joke, when they tell that punchline, the timing is everything. If they blow that, no one laughs, right? They're getting tomatoes thrown at them. So timing's important. Speaking of tomatoes, let's say, just one more example, let's say you were making a pizza, which I happen to like too much. Um, so you're making a pizza, three simple ingredients, right? You know, dough, sauce, cheese. If you take the dough, roll it out, you put the sauce on, you put the cheese on, you put it in the oven, ah, you get perfection. But let's say you take the dough, you put the sauce on, you put it in the oven, you cook it, and then when it comes out, you put the cheese on. It's still the same three exact ingredients, but the timing is off a little bit and the result is off a little bit. So where I'm going with this is the exercises are an important part of your care, but it's really important when in an optimal situation that you're getting the exercises and you're doing them here in the office, like right at the same time you're getting adjusted because the timing is optimal. If I do an adjustment on you, you go home and you do your exercises later, well that's better than nothing, but it's not as optimal as if you did them here in the office. So if I'm giving them for you to do here in the office, make sure you do them at home, uh, here in the office and not at home. That being said, so let me show you the three top exercises for, I'm gonna say the neck, shoulder, upper back area to, to help. So this first one, it's called shoulder circles. Now the main thing with this is, and I'm gonna demonstrate it, is you wanna go slow. Um, you wanna feel it stretching like in your shoulder blade and your neck. So, and you're gonna wanna go up as high as you can and then as wide as you can. So the speed that I'm doing it at is the speed I want you to do. So you go nice and slow. And now I'm gonna go up as high as I can, reaching up towards the sky. Sound like Woody, reach for the sky. Go up as high as you can and now as wide as you can. That would be one, that's the speed I want you to do. Then I'm gonna do one more just to show you again. So you would do five in one direction. Here's the really odd part. Um, I want you to then switch and go in the opposite direction and you think it would feel the same, but the muscles it uses are a little different. It actually feels different this way than the other direction. So again, I'm going as wide as I can and as high as I can. And so I would do five in each direction. So that would be the first one. The next one I'm gonna have you do would be a head rotation. Now there's two parts to this one. So the first part is you turn your head as far as you can. Now whichever way I'm turning my head, I'm gonna take that elbow and I'm gonna pull it towards the opposite shoulder as I'm turning my head. That really increases the amount of stretch. And so when you do this, you're gonna hold it for 30 seconds to a minute and notice how I'm not bouncing back and forth. I'm just holding it. Let me just show you the other side because I like, any, anytime you do something, it should be both sides. Even if it hurts more on one side, do both. So I turn my head and I take the elbow and I go towards the opposite shoulder and I hold that. So that's shoulder circles. Uh, the last one I'm gonna show you, we're gonna switch rooms for, so. Now with this, you're only gonna go, you're gonna lift up a little bit. Um, I don't want you lifting from your lower back. You're lifting from your upper back, like your shoulder, in between your shoulder blades. I'm gonna combine two parts to this. 
One is I'm going to lift up from my shoulder blades a little bit. I call that mid-back extension or bending backwards. But I'm going to combine that with bending my head backwards too to help with that curve. So you put your hands behind your head. Then I'm going to open my elbows up as, uh, as wide as I can. Now I'm lifting up from my mid-back just a little bit. And now I'm bending my head backwards. So you're doing three things at once. I'm lifting from my mid-back. I'm bending my head back. And I'm talking also. And I'm still trying to open my elbows as wide as I can as I'm doing all this. And so that's mid-back extension. When you do that, you'll hold that for about 30 seconds to a minute. So now I'm just going to show you how you uh, could do that same exercise standing up because it may be a little hard to do at first um, laying down. You may have to build up to that. So if you wanted to do it standing up, you could do the same thing right over here. So I would open up my elbows, arch back from my shoulder blades and bend my head back. Again, I don't feel the stretch quite as much as when I'm laying on my stomach but it's a good beginning point. So with the exercises, that's a part of what I do here in the office, and it works best when you're getting adjusted in conjunction with that. Um, but the exercises are really important to help retrain um, the muscles and ligaments to keep things working better. Um, and so I incorporate a lot of exercises, especially in like, car accident type of cases and you know surprisingly probably 75 percent of the patients i see have been in some type of car accident half of those are more recent but the other half they oh they tell me oh yeah i've had neck pain since a car accident you know, 30 years ago so um i really want to make sure that we help to rehabilitate your spine i know i've mentioned that i specialize in auto injuries and i feel a unique position that i call quarterbacking and i've talked about in that in some of my other videos but what i'll say on that for right now is what allows me to really quarterback and to understand that and from a legal perspective like with the court system what allows me to to do that is the credentials that i have um, i'm one of uh, currently one of four chiropractors in the state to be trauma qualified which means i've had extensive training in this type of stuff and here i'll give you an idea of some of the things that i've had training in and so you can see over here that you know i'm trauma qualified but i've had advanced training in such things as like the courtroom orthopedic testing personal uh personal injury accident reconstruction impairment rating mild traumatic brain injury uh spinal trauma pathology MRI spine credentialing and there's a bunch of others too. I really just ran out of the room on the wall. Um, you know, spinal biomechanical engineering. But uh, the point is I have a lot of specialty training that lets me really help you and to quarterback your case. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, certainly uh, leave those and I'll make sure I get back to you. Follow us on uh, social media and you know you can watch some of our other videos whatever ache or pain you're having hasn't cleared up within two weeks your body's telling you something's not right on the inside and you really need to get some professional help at that point if you're here locally i'm happy to take a look at you and see what's going on if not then well you know find someone that's a professional to take a look at it um so thanks so much for uh, your time i hope these help and you have a great day <laughs>